I think nightclub culture, especially New York, has become so much about how much money you have and what you can afford. But when they come into House of Yes, they just can feel that this isn't a normal nightclub. On any given night, you can come to House of Yes and you can find really cutting edge performance from a variety of different artists, performers, and creators. There's glitter stations, there are costumes, weird experiences. We like to make hidden sort of immersive environments for people to discover and participate in. Our real goal and our real guiding light is reinventing nightlife and what it means to go out to a nightclub. You start your night being like, I am going to this party and this is the theme and this is who I'm gonna be. And I am committed to party with a purpose the whole entire night and meet other people that wanna party with a purpose with me and see what happens. I think, you know, being female nightclub owners, there's something about when you meet a stranger and you introduce yourself and you're like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm one of the owners and it, fucks with their head. You know, they completely redesign their idea of, you know, a nightclub owner and they look at you differently, but they actually look at just gender in a different way. But I think once you know that there's some ladies behind the scenes, it kind of all makes sense too. I mean, half your room is women, like shouldn't you have sexy boys dancing? along with sexy girls, and shouldn't the sexiness be in all different shapes and ages and colors and sizes? House of Yes is a really great way of helping people discover themselves, because if you don't know what you're into yet, how are you gonna know how to express yourself, right? A lot of people come to us and are like, I found myself at House of Yes. I mean, it's important to be yourself because there's nobody else like you. What else are you gonna be?